Well, here we are. My quest and my journey to becoming a better fisherman continues today. Oh, had a fish. <laughs> I had a fish. Found this little creek here that with the spring flood uh, should have nice little white water, moving water. The goal for today is to paddle down river, do a couple of, of rapids, but more importantly, fish so I can have some dinner. Well, we had a bite for sure and I saw a fish, so it's a good start to the trip. There's a strainer in the way of this drop here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just going over the rocks. One of the recommendations I got for fishing brook trout is to try these Black Fury. My friends over at Paddleheads, um, Ben and Adam, told me that this was a, a real winner for brook trout, so I'm putting their knowledge to the test now. I'm at the bottom of a, of a, of a rapid. Uh, it's cold, the water's cold, and I've got the right lure. I should have the odds in my favor now. Oh, could be a rock, but that felt like it, the, the re, that was such a, a quick jerk. All right, just made it to camp. Took me a while to find a campsite because this is not a very camped route. Most people just run this in a day for play boating. But I found an old firing here. I still haven't caught a fish, so, but before I can go back to fishing, I just wanna make sure I get camp ready. Camp is all set up now. In terms of camp chores, I still have firewood to collect because I didn't bring a stove or some fuel. So I'll definitely need firewood to make a fire and to cook. Instead of hunting for firewood, I'm uh, taking the last 
30 minutes of daylight to see if we can catch some dinner, so let's go. We're gonna try a different spinner bait here. I think this one's called Aguila from MEPS. Yeah, Aguila 1. Maybe at this time of the night, a little bit of a shinier uh, spoon will help. Let's uh, get in the boat and try to get up a little bit, see what we can do there. And I've got a... Yes! Yes, fish on! <laughs> oh, come to me! <gasps> My first little brookie. Oh! All right, that's one. How many of those do I need for dinner? A few more. I thought you'd be dead. Yes! <laughs> oh, that one is way too small. Fish on! That one we're gonna put back. Ugh, way too small. Okay. Real quick. Number two. All right, little guy. Finally back at the campground now. Uh, my camera died up there and I kept fishing until, uh, until uh, it was pretty dark actually, but look at this baby. <laughs> now I know to some of you guys, um, this is a pretty small uh, brook trout to uh, to dispatch and eat, but uh, when I came out here, the, the game wardens that, told, that that I talked to told me that they don't really get that much bigger than this, the brook trout in this little creek. But anyways, this is, uh, I'm super excited about this. It's just gonna be a little appetizer. Obviously not a whole lot of food, but it's gonna be delicious. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you.
All right, first brook trout. Cheers. That was a fin. Oh, weave. <laughs> now it's time for the main course and tonight I brought, well, I was supp supposed to bring chicken fajitas, but I forgot a bunch of ingredients at home. I guess I left fast. So all I have is <laughs> chicken, sour cream, Tex-Mex cheese, and tortilla, so it's gonna be a sad fajita. Bon appétit. What a fun day to be out here. A little bit of white water, catching a fish, eating the fish. I'm starting to understand why people get so obsessed with fishing, especially fishing on trips. Something interesting about uh, harvesting from the land and consuming it. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be getting up at like 6 a.m. and really hitting the water as fast as possible because I have to get out of here. I won't be filming much of tomorrow unless something interesting happens. So this is probably it, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody.